Hello everyone. In the third video, we have seen about the rules of marriage and types of marriages and also Gotras. Here we will study about Indian kings of non Kshatriya origin. According to the Shastras, only Kshatriyas were supposed to be the kings. Indian kings of non Kshatriya origin. The Satavahana king Gautami Putra Satkarni claimed to be Brahman and destroyed of Kshatriya's pride. He also claimed to have ensured that there was no intermarriage amongst the members of the four Varnas. Integration within the framework of caste was op often a complicated process. The Satvahanas claimed to be Brahmanas, whereas according to the Brahmansa, king, kings ought to have been Kshatriyas. They claimed to uphold the fourfold Varnas order. Brahmanical texts prescribed exogamy, but the Satvahanas practice endogamy. Mlechas the Shaka and Kushan rulers who came from Central Asia were regarded as barbarians or outsiders are also known as Mlechas. Some powerful Mlechas were familiar with the Sanskrit traditions. Next is Jadis. The social categories are referred to as Jadi. Like Varna, Jadi was also based on birth. The Varnas were fixed at four but there were no restrictions on the number of Jadis. Brahmanical authorities encountered new groups that they did not fit into the fourfold. Varna system were classified as Jadis. An example, people living in forests such as Nishadas were classified as Jadis. Jadis which shared a common occupation or profession were sometimes organized into shrenis or guilds. The membership of the guild was based on shared craft specialization. Some members adopted different occupations. The inscriptions from Mandaso, Madhya Pradesh informs that apart from the common profession shared by the members, they also collectively decide to invest their wealth earned through craft and constructed splendid temple in honor of the sun god. Beyond the four Varnas, there were populations whose social practices were not influenced by Brahminical ideas such as Nishadas, nomadic pastoralists, etc. There was sharing of ideas and beliefs between these people. Untouchables and duties prescribed for them in Manasmriti and Shastra. The Brahmanas considered some social categories as untouchables. They were primarily connected with the performance of rituals which they considered as pure. So they avoided taking food from untouchables. Some activities were regarded as polluting. These included handling corpses and dead animals. Those who performed such tasks were known as Chandalas. Untouchables and their duties prescribed in Manusmati and Shastra. They were placed at the bottom of the social hierarchy. Touching and seeing them was regarded as polluting by the Brahmanas. The Manusmati laid down the duties of the Chandalas. They had to live outside the village, use discarded utensils and wear clothes of the dead and ornaments of iron. They could not walk out in villages and cities at, at night. They had to dispose the bodies of those who had no relatives and serve as executioners. Observations made by Fagian and Zuan San. Fagian came to India 5th century CE, wrote that untouchable sounded clappers when they entered streets so that the people could avoid the sight. 